Hello my friends, Virus here, and welcome to Pokemon Ruby, a game I have wanted to play for so freaking long on the channel, but I never figured out a way to like make it look good or like figured out a way to play it for the channel. So today we are hopping right in, and I made a custom template like 10 minutes ago that you see on screen right now. I love it. Pokeballs will represent the Pokemon we catch along our journey and add to our team, and that box below it will, say, will be to play put our badges in which oh my gosh this is like a dream come true to me because i love this game i never played the original fully the only i've only gotten up to about the third or fourth gym in the original and well it uh it's probably my favorite pokemon generation gen 3 is really near and dear to my heart as it has some of my favorite pokemon in it and it might have some of your favorites too so let's not waste any more time and get this adventure started pokemon ruby Wait, I think my controller's being... Okay, let me re reconfigure this. Okay, my controls should be all configured for this game. Let's get into this. Oh there he is, the man himself. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together in battles. Wow. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? That's us. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I believe I'm a boy. Last time I checked, so we'll go with boy. All right, what's your name? The default names are Landon, Terry, Seth, and Tom. Landon being the you know main default name. However, we're gonna choose our own name today. It is going to be Virus, you know? May as well. And I believe I can pick others. No, I guess I can't do an underscore. Or can I? No, I can't. It's not available. I would have put Virus underscore just for the channel, but we can't, so that's okay. Press okay. So it's Virus. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. You're a virus who's moving to my hometown a little bit. Yeah, I am. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. There we go. Oh. There we are in the moving van. It stopped. Do we get control? Oh, we get control. All right. Now we hop out of here. Oh, here comes mom. Virus, we're here, honey. Must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. We what? You didn't? We don't have a car. We couldn't just. You couldn't just. You know. We couldn't carpool together. Come on, mom. I'm your own son. <laughs> Well, this is Little Root, Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Virus. Let's go inside. Oh. Locks controls, okay. 
Sea virus? Isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving. A sand and cle cleaning up after. Oh, okay. Maybe like just like the boxes and all that since they unpack. This is so convenient. Virus, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Oh, I forgot about that. Dang, look at these Pokemon. Let's talk to this guy. Gua Gua. What does this guy say? Same thing? Gayo Gayo Gayo. Nice, nice. Alright. Oh, here's a clock. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Well, I'd like to think that is that it is about. I want to say it's about that time. Press OK. Yes, I record these videos late at night. Leave me alone. <laughs> Virus, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Ah, yes, the GameCube. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to the to serve as the controller. Oh, the days of the, the Game Boy player. We can go here to get a potion, I believe. Item storage, withdraw item, one potion. Yep, potions recover about 20 HP each. Now let's exit. Let's go on TV. Dad might like this program. Better get going! <laughs> Virus looked up in the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with start. Adventure rule number two. Record using save. The remaining pages are blank. I wonder if that actually fills itself out throughout the adventure. I'd like to see that happen. The virus took a closer look at the Hoenn region map. And this is the entire Hoenn region. We start off in Little Root Town and we will go off and explore the entire Hoenn region someday. Ah, yes. The old mechanic of beds. I remember those. Alright, let's go downstairs. Oh, Mom's already got something to say. Oh, Virus! Virus! Come quick! Come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. Oh, yeah, our Dad's a gym leader in this game. Interviewer. We brought you this report from in front of the Petalburg Gym. Oh. It's over. <laughs> I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one to Dad. I didn't get to read that. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Sounds good. Sounds good. This looks very Pokemon Labby. Professor Birch's Pokemon Lab. There we go. Huh? Professor Birch? Professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what field work is. It is to study things in the natural environment like fields and mountains. Instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things that read about them and then read about them here. It's a good outlook. I mean, I'd rather have a hands-eye experience as well. So basically, he's not here and we have to go find him. Here's a kid. If you go into the tall grass at the sides of this road, wild Pokemon will appear. That's a good hint. Maybe first-timers don't know. Whoa. Uh. Does that mean I just can't go? Maybe I go see Mom again. Let's see what Mom has to say after that. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? I can't find him, sorry. Unfortunately, I can't go this way. So this is Little Root Town. It's a pretty cute little town. Not very populated, I'd say. Professor Birch's house. Alright, so let's check his house. Oh, 
I'm assuming that's his wife, not his mom. Oh, hello. And you are? Hmm. Oh, you're Virus, our new next-door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. So, in an alternate universe, if we chose the girl character, it would be the boy upstairs. There's May. Pokemon fully restored, items ready in. Huh? Huh? Who, who, who are you? Hmm. Oh, you're Virus, so your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I... I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I... I heard about you, Virus, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice, Virus, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've, I've just met you, Virus. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Virus, I'll catch you later. See you, May. I can hear someone shouting down the road there. What should I do? What, what should we do? What, somebody has to go help. I'll go help. H help me! Oh, oh, God. <laughs> H Hello! You over there, please help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! Now, this is the biggest decision of any Pokemon game, picking your starter Pokemon. First, we have Trico. The Grass type. Torchic, the Fire Chick Pokemon. And Mudkip, the Water Mudfish Pokemon. Now, these are all good Pokemon. I love them all to pieces. But if I have to pick any of them, it'll be Trico. Trico is my favorite starter, bar none. It is the fastest grass starter, maybe besides Rowlet. Rowlet might be a little bit faster nowadays. However, it's a pretty fast grass type, and it's a pretty good early on grass type. It. I'll keep... I'll press yes and go into the battle right now, but... Grass type is the second weakest Pokemon type defensively, right next to Ice types, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's Trico, man. Come on. Go, Trico. So now all we have right now are Pound and Leer. Leer lowers, I believe, defense. If I'm not wrong. Indeed it does. All right. Wild Puccini used Tackle, and that didn't do much, so Trico uses Pound. Since we're a higher level, we're going to do a lot more, and we also lower his defense, which means we will do more damage. And that's it. Puchin is down. And we get XP every single time we defeat a Pokemon, and once we get a level up, I will go into more about that. Phew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Virus. This might not be the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, Virus, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way, er, but the way you battled Ariel Lear, you pulled it off with a plum. A plum? I don't know what that word was. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Virus received Trico. Professor... Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> While you're at it, why not give your treat... Give a nickname to that Trico. I might be part of the minority here, but I do not like giving my Pokemon nicknames. I might in the future, but currently I do not want to give any nicknames. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My Kid May is out on route... 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see me. What do you think? No! Oh, don't be that way. You should go meet my kid. No. Oh, don't be that... Okay, it's just repeating. You have to find that endless loop. Great. May should be happy, too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I'm sure I'll find that out sooner or later. Wait, what does this guy have to say now? Professor Birch is studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys May's help, too. There's a lot of love there. Yeah, I, I get it. It's kind of like a family business. Uh, 
However, I believe this is the only instance of a trainer being a professor's kid, I believe. We've had instances of, like, gym leaders, obviously. And yeah. Uh... Do I get into a battle? No, I don't. Okay. Wild Pokemon will jump out at you in tall grass. If you want to catch... If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into the tall grass and search. Which, this is true. This is a staple in the original Pokemon games where it is completely RNG. If you walk into this grass, there's a chance you find a Pokemon, and sure enough, we did. And we found a Wurmple. Now, this might be a little bit tricky because gr Bug is strong against grass types, but Wurmple's such a low level that it probably doesn't even matter. He probably doesn't have any Bug-type attacks that'll hurt us that much. Alright, so Trico, use Pound, and use String Shot, which I believe lowers speed. Yep. Now we just use Pound again, and there we go, it's down. Trico gained 15 experience points, getting pretty close to a level up there. And what's this sign say here? Route 101, Old Deal Town. Alright. This is a trainer battle over here. Oh, and I found another Pokemon. We found a Zigzagoon, alright. Zigzagoon, normal type, I believe. Pick up for the ability, I believe. Tackle, Tail Whip, and Leer. Growl. Okay, I was wrong on that front, but that's okay. It's been a while. Pound. There we go. Oh, critical hits. I should mention that as well. Critical hits do more damage, and they, you know, come up sometimes. Trico grew to level 6. Six, sweet. Alright, so these are the stats that are going to be upped. Attack doesn't get any upping, but HP does, and defense goes up by 1. Special attack up by 2. Special defense up by 2. And speed up by 2. Let me run down these stats real quick. HP is the amount of hits you can take. Attack is how much damage you do in battle. Defense is how capable you are of taking those hits. Special attack is any type of magical attack or anything like non-physical. Special defense is how well you take those special attacks. And speed is how often you go and how often your turn comes around in battle. Now those are my current stats right now, which isn't too bad actually. Trico learned Absorb, which is a, I believe, how strong is that actually? Let me check it. It is a 20 power grass type move that heals you upon use, which is really nice. So let's get out of this tall grass and let's fight this trainer. Oh, I guess we don't. Yeah, that's okay. That's interesting. I thought we'd get into a battle there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Old Dale Town. Go into the Pokemon Center. And hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And there we go. I always like to think, like... It took me a little while, like, when I was older to think about this, but when she said, we hope to see you again, it's basically saying, like, we really hope your Pokemon goes down again, so we get paid. So, that's kind of funny. So, I think... I don't think this Pokemon carries Pokeballs, unfortunately, but it does carry more potions, which I do want to pick up. I want to pick up, like... I want to pick up, like, three more. Just because they're really good items to have. And before I forget, I am changing tech speed to fast. Fast all the way. All right, let's go up to Route 103. Let's go in the tall grass. Interesting. Normally I get like three different Pokemon encounters from that patch alone. And can we get, oh, yep, there's another encounter. It's another Zigzagoon. This one, it's male. Alright, so let's use Pound. So I guess I'll go, go over this too. Absorb would be considered a special attack. So his attack stat, his, you know, defense stat doesn't matter. It de depends on his special defense stat is how well he can take this attack. Wow. 
don't think Zigzagoon is the best special defense, right? Decent special defense, I guess, for such a low level. But then again, this is just the beginning of the game. And as you can see, I am healing Trico, essentially, with this attack. That's why it's really nice to have this on Trico. Especially on a low level. Already halfway to level 7, that's nice. Alright, here's May. Let's talk to her. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh! Oh, hi, Virus. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Alright. Oh, I always love the rival themes. Pokemon Trainer May would like to battle. Pokemon Trainer May sent out Torchic. Okay. In the earlier Pokemon games, it used to be your rival would have the starter that your Pokemon is weak to. It would be, you know, another, you know, layer of challenge. And nowadays they obviously make it so then you have the stronger Pokemon. And as you can see, that wasn't very effective because it was a grass type move. So let's use Pound. Pound did a bit more. At this point, it's a matter of outlasting her. At, the, at least at this level, because I don't think she has any fire-type attacks yet. At least I don't think. Yeah, it's only level 5. It shouldn't. Alright, Trico's running pretty low on health, so let's use a potion. Restore him back to full health. Torch is going to use Scratch again. I think, you know what? I'm going to use Leer this round, just to lower her defense. His defense. Torchic's defense fell. And now we can take him out a little bit faster because his defense is down. And there we go. Torchic has been defeated. And we got quite a bit of XP. Grew to level 7. And HP up by 2, attack up by 1, defense up by 1, and everything else up by 1, obviously. Wow, we gained 1.5 levels from that fight. We gained $300 from winning. That's pretty good. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to refriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Such good characters, and that is where I'm going to end off this episode here. I know this is a pretty short episode compared to my recent episodes of my other series, However, this is just those types of games where you just have to take it slow. You just want, you know, you don't want to rush through these games. They're really nice. So, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like on the video. Dislike if not. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. And click that bell to make sure you always get notifications for when I upload my videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Virus out.